The beaver is an extraordinary animal. It's one of the largest rodents you'll find uh, on the planet. Um, and they are distinctively water living, so you'll find them near water. Um, and they have got this amazing paddle of a tail, a large, flat tail. The tail is there for communication, it's there for a fat store, and it's there to add a burst of acceleration when they need to swim very fast. But basically, you've got a really big rodent with really sharp teeth, chopping down trees, you'll know you've got a beaver. My name is Hugh Warwick. Um, I'm a, a, a writer of books about wildlife. The entire graphic series are filled with both the sort of aesthetically appealing as well as the sort of scientifically accurate. It's about the natural history of beavers. It's about the way that the beaver was exterminated from our land, the way that we have managed to pull the beaver back into the United Kingdom, the way that they're now beginning to be reintegrated into our ecosystem. But it also looks at the way that the beavers have made a really crucial component to, to our history, uh, whether it is through sort of the hat-making business and the beaver felt business, and uh, in fact the exploration of, of Canada and, and the northern United States of America, uh, that was driven in large part by the hunt for beaver skin too. So no, beavers are an amazing ecosystem engineer, but they've also played a really vital role in our history. And the reason why you know, Beavers works for me as a, as a book is because it's a way of, one, dealing with erroneous views about what beavers are really like, but it really encourages people to look at this extraordinary animal. We, we wiped all the beavers out uh, through our greed uh, in this country. We've managed to reintroduce them from Europe. We've got our beavers back uh, uh, living uh, in, in our landscape. And I want people to be excited by that. And people don't know that this is happening. People don't know that these are a native animal which are being reintroduced, but they will do when they've read the book, and then they will see the real true value of having these sort of rewilding experiments taking place, um, because we benefit in so many different ways. <laughs>